break the ice, they break my home, they kill us with the melting. And here I lay on sheets of ice, with once a land of snow. There are humans, destroyers, killers. Here are the cities where I explore, the towns and homes looking for more. The ice is broken and I am straight. My newfound home is water and I drift slowly away, getting further from home and distant from my natural home. I'm a bear, a polar bear, that should ever stay, yet in the chain will slowly drift away. My name is Mpo. Today I'm going to be presenting two points. One about myself, the other one about Jungle Woman. Mpo is my name. Mpo means gift in my language. So I'm a gift. A gift from God. A gift in human form to my beautiful mother. Mpo, me. I mean a lot to my mother. She is blessed to be given me as a gift. I'm not only a gift to my mom. I'm also a gift to my whole family. When my grandmother counts her blessings, I know she counts me twice. My cousins, aunts and uncles also, also appreciate the gift God gave them. To my lovely school and supportive teachers, God has blessed you with a gift, Mpo. He is a bright, talented and hardworking boy who brings smiles to teachers through academic performance. To the whole community, I encourage you all to share gifts in Bruno to all your loved ones as a token of appreciation for birthdays, weddings, and Christmas celebrations. I hereby celebrate with everyone on this special commemoration for Black History. I give myself as a gift today to everyone here present. As a gift, oh sorry, a gift as a student a friend, a son, and most importantly, a brilliant black little boy who is chasing after a bright future. <laughs> now I'm going to read the one about global woman. Like I said, Mpo is my name. For those who did not understand, I repeat, my name means gift in my language, meaning I am the gift to this universe. I came to save, to save God on earth. Firstly, I would like to thank Wapi for giving me the opportunity to share my views on the alarming issues on global warming, which is not a trend like some would think. Our earth might just end one day. Let me share with you a fun fact. Did you know that human beings are the only creatures in the world who cut down trees, make paper from them, and write safe trees on the same sheets of paper. So ironic. Human activities contribute a lot to release get bad gases. Those burning fossil fuels to generate electricity also lead, or rather say, cause carbon pollution. Coal industries contribute in reducing such harmful gases. Do you think global warming is not real because it is cold today? No, global warming is so real. Imagine if trees were giving off free Wi-Fi. I'm sure everyone, I mean everyone including myself, will be planting so many trees and will be seeing the planet Earth. But too bad because they only produce the oxygen we breathe. So let us all have the common goal to save planet Earth. Let school's syllabus infuse the issue of global warming in their daily teachings. There is a saying that goes, charity begins at home. We all need to start to use biodegradable materials at home to reduce the use of plastic waste so that we all can make an impact to reduce global warming. I thank you all. And please, let's go and make a difference. Thank you. Woo! Hi, my name is Tommy, and I'm a 16-year-old young man from Wapi. I uh, studied uh, 
Atlanta, and then with three small signs in college, and to the Atlanta to present a short poem about climate change. Summers are getting colder, winters are getting warmer. It's true about a doubt, forest fires are burning, a threat to wildlife, even an empty land for our animals to feed on. Looking sad and bare, we think about our future and wonder what can be done. This is the world we live in. Thank you for that.